Welcome to Proper Kids. This is a kids leadership channel where we impart leadership principles and ideal values in kids. Every parent wants to raise their child to have an outstanding character, creative intellect, and great communication skills. Our channel was created with this in mind. A stable society is built on solid values. We encourage parents to watch our videos with their kids, thereby participating in their transformation journey to become young leaders of solid repute. This is what proper parenting is all about. Welcome to our show. We are continuing with the series, Leaders Respect Others. And today we'll take a slightly different approach. We are going to look at a true story. Do you love stories? Great. And this is a story about Peter. Peter was a guy who loved motorbikes. He had a big motorbike that had a loud noise. Okay, what's the noise of a motorcycle? Vroom! Vroom, yes, vroom. So, vroom. yeah, so he used to ride and he would go vroom, vroom, vroom. Yes, so one day when he was riding, he came to a place on the road where there was a junction. A what? Junction. Junction, excellent. And he had the right of way. So he just crossed with his motorcycle and then somebody came with a car driving very fast and he didn't see Peter and carelessly. He was a careless driver. So he slammed on his brakes. How do you slam on brakes? Okay. And the car did stop. It didn't stop, so he hit Peter, okay? And Peter fell. Now, when the crowds heard that noise, there was a loud bang, okay? They came to find out what is wrong, and they were so angry. They were angry because the person in the car was on the wrong, and he had injured Peter. So they came with stones and they wanted to beat this man. They dragged him out of the car and they told him, why are you driving carelessly? Okay, so he realized his mistake and he said, sorry, please forgive me. But the crowds beat him up. Then he noticed Peter waking up and he realized, I know Peter and he called Peter by name. So he called Peter, help me. And Peter was surprised. You know my name? Then Peter looked and said, oh, it's you, Jimmy. And he realized that this was his classmate in school. So Peter told the crowd, please do not beat this man. He is my friend. It is a mistake he has made but we will sort it together. So the crowds left Peter and Jimmy to solve the matter together. So Peter and Jimmy talked, but Peter was in so much pain. Okay? Have you ever felt some pain? No. You've never felt any pain? Yeah. Okay. You've never felt any pain. Okay, no one has ever pinched you? Has anyone pinched you? No. no one has ever pinched you. Okay, very good. And you've never fallen down? No. Oh, great. You're very lucky that you haven't experienced pain. But so many people have experienced pain. I'm sure you have experienced pain. So Peter was in a lot of pain. He went to hospital and he was accompanied by Jimmy to the hospital. So they went, so they went to hospital and Peter went and saw the doctor. As he was seeing the doctor, 
Jimmy called him on his phone and told him, I am going for an important meeting. You just tell me what the bill is and I will sort it. Also, I will sort out the issue with your motorbike. So Peter was treated and he had a bandage on his leg. Have you ever seen a bandage? Which color is a bandage? Oh, okay. I have only seen white bandages. So. Oh, there's only one orange. Yeah. Okay, that's, you could be right, but I've seen a white one. Okay, so let's assume that the doctors put a white bandage on Peter. So after Peter was treated, he gave Jimmy a call. When Jimmy picked the phone, he told Peter, why are you calling me? And Peter told him, I'm calling you because you promised to pay my hospital bill. I want to tell you how much it is. You also promised that you would fix my motorbike. I want you to keep your word. And you know what Jimmy told him? Jimmy told him, I do not know what you're talking about. And Peter was very shocked. But you just knocked me with your car. I was riding my bike. You knocked me. And Jimmy told him, you know what Jimmy said? No. I don't know what you're talking about. So Peter was so sad, he was very disturbed and he didn't know what to do. He didn't know whether to go to the police. He didn't know whether to go to court. He didn't know what to do, but he was in pain and the doctors had recommended rest. So he tried to call Jimmy again but Jimmy blocked him on the phone. Jimmy did not want to get any more calls from Peter. Eventually, Peter decided to just forgive Jimmy and let it go. And they stayed for even two years without hearing from each other. But one day, Peter got a call from Jimmy and he was so surprised. Why are you calling me at this time? And Jimmy told Peter, please, can we meet? And Peter said, okay. By now, Peter had healed. And so when they met, Peter was shocked that Jimmy was in a wheelchair and Jimmy told him, please forgive me for what I did. And Jimmy told him that one day when I was driving in the evening, I did not see a truck right in front of me until it was too late and I slammed the brakes, but the car continued moving and I rammed into that truck and my car was completely damaged. It is only by the grace of God that I survived. And when I stayed in hospital for six months, all I remembered was you and what I did to you. And I've come to say sorry. So Peter told Jimmy, that I have forgiven you, I forgave you a long time ago, and I wish you well. So, I hope you're learning an important lesson about respecting others. Do unto others what you want them to do unto you. Thank you very much. I hope to see you next time. Have you enjoyed the story? Yeah. What have you learned? About? 
Jimmy. Okay. That you, you should not be selfish. And you should keep your word. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't tell you to sing. <laughs> We hope that you have enjoyed our show, more importantly, that you have gained important insights that will make you a better leader. You have a huge role to play in making the world a better place. Subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications whenever we upload a new video. Don't forget that there is greatness in you. See you again next time.